woods. Hey, while I was sitting here by the fire, I had a thought. For those of us that do these channels, we do a lot of footage, at least I do, of stuff that we never seem to use. So tonight, what I wanna do is I wanna take you through some of the footage that I didn't use. And uh, I find these to just be satisfying videos. I started to tell a story that I never finished, and so therefore I thought, well, you know what, maybe I will just tell you what I was thinking about sharing with you, and maybe you'll find some of these videos kind of interesting. The first one that I'm going to show you is a job I did, actually one for free for a friend of mine, uh, who had a uh, stump in her front lawn. It was a big pine stump, and I took my 270B backhoe on my 2032R John Deere over to her house, and I dug the stump out for her. Um, our trade was is that she had to uh, video me uh, digging this stump out. Unfortunately, she missed the finale, which was getting the stump actually up out of the ground, but she did a really great job with the camera work for someone who has never done a YouTube video. So I'm gonna show you that right now. clip what we have is Hurricane Ida and the effects it had out here at my property. So first I'm going to show you just all of the water that was running through my property and then I'm going to show you a small clip of how I had to level out uh, some of the trails that I have. I used a uh, five foot back blade on my John Deere tractor and uh, 
I, I just tried to move the stone over into where the, uh, the tire tracks were so that I would uh, continue to have good traction up through those wet areas. So uh, hope you enjoy that. We are looking at the little brook behind our house. It's uh, a little more than a babbling brook today. found a clip, a very short one, of some of the ground clearing I was doing with the bush hog. I have a four foot bush hog. Um, I really do need to step up to a five footer on the back of my tractor. It would handle it just fine. going to the lumberjack competition in Forksville, Pennsylvania. And in these next video clips, I'm going to take you through uh, the town of Forksville, which is very small. There's a little store there. A gentleman uh, had moved up from Philadelphia and does some really great cheesesteaks at that store. I'll get show you a little bit of what I saw at the uh, festival. It was very small. Uh, the week prior being at Paul Bunyan Festival and then going to this, it was kind of a disappointment. And I think that's why I didn't post the video. But, um, and then I also show you some scenes from probably my favorite state park in Pennsylvania, which is the uh, World's End State Park. And uh, I really uh, encourage you, if you're in the northern tier of Pennsylvania, to visit World's End. It is a beautiful place, and it really captures how beautiful Pennsylvania can be.
So I have to wrap this video up with the glow of the fire so you can see me. Anyway, uh, I want to thank everyone for checking in and seeing this video. Uh, it was kind of an afterthought as I was standing out here and just, you know, watching the fire and thinking, you know, combustion and contemplation, as I like to call it. Anyway, uh, one thing I do want to call out, I want to call out uh, some of the people out here on this uh, st on this forum YouTube you know uh, I've really made some really great friends it really shows me the difference between YouTube and the other platforms uh, there are other platforms that frankly people will argue about anything I find this to be incredibly encouraging people like Wayne Paulson who uh, always have the kindest words uh, and actually a kind message in his uh, in his videos uh, wood, sweat, and tears, Trey and, and Mike. Uh, what a great father-son experience to go out there, cut wood, do things around the house, and Trey taking an active part in it. Um, I have to say, I wish my daughter had the same interest in, in doing these things with me. Uh, but she doesn't. She's, uh, she's more into drama and theater and that sort of thing, and hey, that's what she likes. So, um, But... Uh, uh, you know, uh, Brad at Firewood in the Furnace, he was actually the first guy who I talked to when I started this YouTube channel. And uh, I'm really happy to see the success he's having on YouTube with his channel. He's got a great story. If you haven't checked it out, start from the beginning and, and hear why he's doing what he's doing. It's, it's just a wonderful story. Um, and uh, Back 40 Firewood, for all of his con uh, his. Uh, 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 compassion and and his kindness to to all of us woodhounds as he calls us um, he makes sure that we get out there and people know who we are same goes for uh, Don shy but outside with shy uh, but anyway just a wonderful com uh, community I I don't I'm not omitting anyone for any reason uh, I'm sure I'll try to get mentions out there for everyone at some point in the future um, believe me if you're subscribing to this channel and you're commenting I'm checking out your videos too so anyway I want to thank you for watching I want to ask you to hit that like button that thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already done so and I look forward to bringing you more content in the future thank you for watching